Hi everyone, Mitch from Able Cine here in our New York showroom looking at a new type of lighting technology. This is the Hive Light, this is the Hornet model uh, in prototype uh, from Hive Lighting and it is a plasma light. John Miller from Hive Lighting, tell us please, what is plasma lighting? So plasma is a brand new type of light source and very basically it takes a small gas capsule, it excites it until it changes into a plasma state and emits huge amounts of light for very low amounts of wattage. And how is that different from HMI lighting? So specifically, and probably most importantly, it's twice as efficient as an HMI. It gives you a single point source, it gives you that daylight balance light that you need for production, and it gives you quite a bit of output. Um, so in that way, it's similar to an HMI, but it is twice as efficient. It is completely electrodeless, which means that it's very stable. You're going to get 10,000 hours of bulb life. It is flicker free. So unlike an HMI, where you're going to find a point, if you're shooting high speed, where you'll find a flicker, with this uh, technology, you're working with megahertz instead of hertz, so it's really millions and millions of frames per second. So for all intents and purposes, it's a continuous light source. So for us with our phantom high-speed cameras, uh, you can shoot at any frame rate and you won't have any kind of problem with this light ever giving you any flicker. Exactly. We've tested it at multiple frame rates, multiple shutter angles, and it's rock solid. And basically, it's, it's like the sun. It's actually principally the same, same concept. In the sun, you take a ball of gas, have a nuclear reaction, turns to plasma, emits a lot of sunlight. We do the same thing, but on a very, very small scale. So, nuclear reactor going on in here? Thankfully, no. In fact, we just use, we use microwaves to excite the gas, uh, rather than uh, something much more sinister. <laughs> Understood. Now, I'm looking at, again, it's a prototype unit, but this is, uh, looks like a traditional Fresnel unit. What other sort of uh, devices do you have planned? Exactly. So what we're doing is we're taking this brand new technology, but we're putting it into really legacy lights that people who do film, television, video, any kind of image capture are used to working with. So we're putting these in Fresnels, PARs, elliptical reflectors, any light source that film and lighting technicians are used to using to uh, get a large amount of punch over a great distance. Great. And this particularly, the, the Harnet model, uh, what are the features of this one? So. It's got a traditional Fresnel face, and you can spot and flood it. It gives you very even be field, um, beam field. But probably what's most innovative about this specific housing is that they actually link together. You can uh, use it in any orientation. It can point up, it can point straight down. But what's great is you can also move any of the accessories, the handles, the yoke, to any side. There is no up or down side to this lamp. And that, that has to do with this uh, octagonal shape that you, uh, you picked here. Exactly. Or, or hexagonal. <laughs> Specifically, yes, the hexagonal shape uh, is designed so that you can build it into multiple rays. You can build a strip and only need you know, a stand on either side. You can then use that in a studio setting. You could build it into a 9 light, a 12 light. Uh, really, any combination of light that you, that you want to create, you can do with uh, this hexagonal shape. So it would be sort of like a honeycomb, like a bee's nest. Exactly, hence hive lighting. There you go. And uh, this one is 275 watts? Correct, this is a 275 watt unit and it gives you the output of a 575 watt HMI and what's great is if you actually build say like five of these together you're getting about a f you're pulling about 1400 watts but you're getting the output of almost a 4k HMI so you can actually take that and plug it into regular Edison sockets so you don't have to worry about special power in fact also this can run on DC as well it's actually a native DC system so what's great is all of these lights can run off of batteries so you need a lot of punch, daylight source, up a hill. You don't want to run cable. You don't want to rent a generator. You can just bring a, a block battery, plug it straight into this light, and you can get a couple hours of high-intensity light output that's basically impossible to get with any other instrument. Terrific. And can we just see real quick what is sort of the heart of what's inside this light? So what we have here is a plasma emitter. And um, it's a pretty fancy looking light bulb. But basically, the part that we would be most familiar with is this very small little bulb right here, which looks a lot like a light emitting diode, but really is not like an LED at all. It's actually just a small ball of gas inside a glass uh, capsule. What goes around it, however, is a ceramic waveguide. Now, that's a very fancy way of saying a very small microwave that allows the RF energy that's coming in through this coaxial cable to be channeled into the bulb so that it can excite the gas, change it into its plasma state. So you basically have a mini microwave that blasts those, those uh, radio frequencies into this uh, little enclosure, and then that makes it glow like crazy. Exactly.